You know, there's an incredible story with the Chayza. There was in the town of Lublin, a very terrible Jew, unfortunately, who was an informant. And he was really ruining the lives of all the Jews. And so the Jews in the town, they, were, they had a great rabbi over there, a tremendously righteous, holy person called the Seer of Lublin, the Chayz of Lublin. And he had the ability to see beyond in a totally different realm. So they said, listen, what we're going to do. Hanukkah, Hanukkah is a time for miracles because Hanukkah is this time where we transcend the sense of limitation, where we transcend beyond the natural to recognize that with Hashem, there is no cap to what we can accomplish. Hanukkah is a time of miracles. You should know that's well known. The great righteous people, it was on Hanukkah, they would do wild miracles because this is what this light is all about that's shining out of your menorah. The light of recognition that you step forward and what Hashem will do afterwards is going to shatter your perception of what is possible. So they said, let's go to the Chayzeh. There's this guy, he's, he's wreaking havoc on our lives. Let's, he's a terribly wicked person. And let's write his name on a piece of paper. We'll give his name to the Chayzeh. The Chayzeh will see the, his name on the paper with his eyes, what he can see about a person when he sees their name. He'll see he's an evil person. And he'll do what he needs to do in heaven to save us from the plight of this person. So they go, it was Hanukkah, and they give this note to the Chayzeh, the Seer of Lublin. He looks at the note and it's got this guy's name on it. He looks at it and he says, wow, this guy is lighting up heaven and earth. What? (laughs) What would you say? This guy is lighting up heaven and earth. They took the paper back. Sure enough, they had written the right name. They didn't understand it. So they decide, you know what, let's come back in a couple of hours. They came back in a couple of hours. They handed him the paper. He looked at it. He said, oh, wicked person. Ugh. He was able to see with his eyes so clearly the evil of this person. It jumped out at him. Oh, scared him. So they said, what's going on here? We handed him the same paper two hours ago. And he said, this guy's lighting up heaven and earth. So they went to find this guy. And they acted all casual. I guess like they weren't trying to do what they were doing. And they said, tell us, two hours ago, what were you doing? He said, I was lighting my menorah. Two hours ago, I was lighting my menorah. I was lighting my Hanukkah. This Jew, the lowest of the low, came forward and he lit his menorah and the chayze looks and he says, he's lighting up heaven and earth. How is that possible? How is it possible? Because you don't have to do it alone. If you don't take the candles out of the box, there's no menorah. But if you show up, no matter who you are, and you take out those candles, you take out the oil, and you set up your menorah, and you say it's time to light up the world, and the Greeks start laughing, They start laughing at you. Maybe your neighbors are laughing at you. Maybe your family's laughing at you. And maybe even you inside are laughing at yourself. Light up the world. Let's not get so dramatic. It's just a couple of candles. It's just little old me. I'm just putting this thing in my window. What's the big deal? But when you reach out and you light that wick, the chayzeh would say, I see someone lighting up heaven and earth. We're not as wicked as that person. Imagine what happens when we light our menorah. We light up the world. We light up the darkest corners of the world. 
but you can't. How could you? Because I'm just here to light my candle. If I step forward and light my candle, if I step out and say I'm going to fight for what matters, then Hashem says, I'm right here behind you, buddy. I'm right here in your corner. I promise you, you're going to light up the world. Is it possible? No. We don't work with possible. Possible is for the Greeks. Limitations is for the Greeks. That's the Yetzirah's department. We live beyond all of that. Because we live with Hashem. Hashem. 